world debut for Sean O'Sullivan, who emerged as one of the boxing stars of the 1984 Summer Olympics. Although he did not oh. take the gold, he won the silver medal in the light middleweight division. Frank Tate of the United States winning the gold. Tate taking two standing eight counts in the uh, second round, although came up with a victory over O'Sullivan. And he will go against Vince Hammock, the 26-year-old from Orlando, Florida, now fighting out of Fayetteville, North Carolina. Hammock with a record of nine and four, four knockouts. And the record supplied by the promoter, his last fight, he was stopped in the 10th round by Lloyd Taylor last July. Hammock in the red, and O'Sullivan in the white. Scheduled for six, scoring on the five-point must system, and it's handled by the three judges. The referee, Harry Davis, does not score. No standing eight, three knockdown rule in effect, and the fighter cannot be saved by the bell until the last round of this case, round number six. So we're underway. Toronto, Canada, capacity crowd at the Toronto Hilton Harbor Castle Hotel. Right off the bat, you can see it's the hunter and the honey. O'Sullivan has that style. He just chases you, fights and fights. Obviously, he's against an opponent that wants to uh, run a little bit, get Sean tired, and see what he's got. First professional fight. It's not three rounds anymore. This is going to be six. After O'Sullivan, his first bout, since the Olympic Games last August, so for a busy fighter like Sean, that's a uh, bit of a layoff. Yes, it is. Um, Sean was a tremendous favorite in the Olympics. I was there for almost all of his bouts, and uh, when he lost to Tate, many, many, many people felt he won, and so that he has a good future in the pros. On the other hand, because you're good in the amateur, does not make you good in the pros. That was a nice combination by Sean, trying to cut off the ring, trying to get Vince Hammock to fight. midway through this opening round. Sean O'Sullivan, 22 years old, from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. In the white trunks, he is making his professional debut at 26-year-old Vince Hammock in the red. You notice the uh, strength of the punches of Sean O'Sullivan. This is one amateur that's made for the pros, and the amateurs, the object is to uh, tap and uh, touch your opponent with a glove, with a white part of the glove, and in pro sports, it's uh, to land the strongest punch. Obviously, he was tailor-made for the professionals because that's what he does. He charges ahead, landing as hard as he can, and he takes a pretty good shot. He certainly got hammered in the Olympics and weathered it well. with a good left hand and it has been O'Sullivan on the attack throughout this opening round good inside work by Sean O'Sullivan when he got tied up he's got one hand free and pummeled the body of Vince Hammock who shows no desire to stand and fight with Sean O'Sullivan he certainly doesn't want to lay it out O'Sullivan continues to get in on Hammock as it's first to Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Marv Albert with the fight doctor, Ferdy Pacheco. Crowd booing at the end of round one, reacting to the non-action. Sean O'Sullivan making his professional debut. He is in the white trunk, Vince Hammock in the red. Oh, so far, it's been like a laboratory experiment. This just wound up Vince Hammock and said, run around and see what this kid has got. Sean O'Sullivan spent most of the round just hunting and waiting for Vince to slow down and, and timing one of those right hands, left hooks to the body as you just saw him throw, trying to get something together. Crowd very restless because it's just a non-fight up to this point. Sean O'Sullivan had a spectacular amateur career, record of 94 victories, six defeats, 68 knockouts, won the North American and Commonwealth Games title as a light middleweight among his many amateur championships. As an amateur, Hammock won the Florida State Amateur Welterweight title. But he is a made-to-order opponent.
good for someone you're looking to move along in deliberate fashion. Well, certainly that's the uh, history of the boxing game. You, you look for an opponent, you can learn something from and see what your uh, boys got. In Sean O'Sullivan's case, they know what they got. A straight ahead power puncher uh, who disregards uh, defense and looks to mix it up. So they got him a, a runner to see how he handles the runner. Now remember, these are the learning processes. He's got to turn pro. He's got to find out what it feels like. It's a complete different set of rules. You're punching to hurt the other guy. You're trying to knock him out. Uh, punches count a lot differently. Good combination by O'Sullivan. Curious that Vince Hammock has barely thrown a punch in the first round, and so far up to this point in the second round. And he just said to O'Sullivan, come on, show me some more. Someone must be saying, stand still. I'll show you what you got, but you keep running. Now, these are the learning experiences, the learning fights. These Olympic fighters, they're all going to face this contest. These uh, first pro fights against guys with doubtful records that they can uh, hone their um, weapons on. This is just pure hunted and hunter. No attempt to fight by Ben Hammond. And again, the crowd responding to the fact that not much is happening out here. Final seconds, round two. And this is round three, Sean O'Sullivan coming out to meet up with Vince Hammock. Sean O'Sullivan, one of the stars of the 1984 Summer Olympics. Did not win the gold, won the silver medal and the light middleweight division, losing in the final to Frank Tate of the United States. And the line in the Olympics was he didn't win the gold, but he won the hearts of the uh, people that watch him, millions of people who watch this tiny little kid from Canada. Just keep coming, keep fighting. Ben Havoc in the red trunks, 26 years old, out of Orlando, Florida. Record of nine and four. You know, when you fight as hard as Sean O'Sullivan fights and fought in the Olympics, and you fight repetitively every other day or every day, by the end of four or five bouts, his hands are just so tender and soft, and that's what happened to this kid. Oh, look, the shot by O'Sullivan, right on the jaw. Of and look at right And now the crowd is beginning to get into it. Not happy with the lack of activity over the first couple of rounds. Sullivan now on target against Hammock. And he cut the distance and they've cut the legs out from under. Sean's cut the legs out from under Vince Hammock so that he's standing still and can get hit. And that's what, what uh, O'Sullivan wants. He's got the heavier punch, obviously. Meeting a tattoo on Hammock. Hammock has fought back very little. He looks like he's in trouble already, and he hasn't really gotten hit that hard. And coming up on a minute remaining of this third round, it is scheduled for six. Good combination. Sean peppering the body and going up to the head, under and over, just showing us the same style he had in the Olympics, wide open, but boy, is he wide open coming in. A good professional fighter will take him apart unless he learns his lesson in these types of fights. But how much can he learn with a guy that's a punching bag right in front of him? But that, of course, the philosophy, you don't want to open up too strong. Hammock, at least on paper, has the good record, but as we mentioned earlier, the perfect opponent been knocked out twice in the first round and he was stopped in 10 in his last bout but providing the learning experience for the professional debut of sean o'sullivan who had himself his best round as a professor round four and pretty this represents the longest distance that sean o'sullivan has gone and that you fight three rounds in the amateur rank one of those rounds that he fought in the Olympics equals three of these because 
He fought like a fury in the Olympics, and he had good, tough competition. Kids that came and they wanted the gold as bad as he did. They fought hard. This kid has not had any competition for those diehards who like to score fights, I must say. You have to give all three, making it a 15-12 fight up to this point uh, for Sean O'Sullivan. I don't think even a close relative of Victor Hammond could have given him a, uh, one of the rounds. He's right on target now. He's landed a beautiful right hand. And Sean has, has now cut the distance where he can land right on target, flush on the side of the face of Vin Hammond. Coming up on a minute gone by in round four. Oh, beautiful combination by O'Sullivan. And Hammock attempting to tie him up. The referee, Harry Davis, breaks the fighters. You know, he was helped uh, to prepare for this fight. Uh, helping him was the great Sugar Ray Leonard. And you can see some of Sugar Ray's moves rubbing off on him when he gets in close and fights in close. Sugar never liked to waste time. When he got in close, he worked to the body. He always made something count. You can see that coming out in Sean O'Sullivan. When he gets in close, he doesn't just waste that time. He puts in two or three good body shots. That's got Vin Hammock uh, elbows tied in close to his body, protecting his uh, sore ribs, and allows Sean O'Sullivan to get those clear shots at his jaw. This began slowly over the first two rounds. O'Sullivan did begin to land in the second, had a very strong third round, and has continued the pace here in round four. Now measuring Hammock. Hammock doing a little bit better in as far as fighting back is concerned. His face is getting very lumpy and puffy and red. And for good reason. Many good shots have landed. O'Sullivan just wide open. Just wide open. It's just amazing how little regard he has for his opponent.
quick to the canvas. And, uh, and that was a slip. Yeah, that was more to adhere to the law of gravity than uh, being hurt. He was up in the air without his feet under him, and he went thudding down on the canvas. Hammering left hook by uh, Sean is uh, causing that eye to slam shut. disregard shown by Sean, his left hand just dangling rather uselessly at his side. No attempt to block anything. Every once in a while he tries to slip a punch. No bobbing and weaving, no attempt to get out of the way of return punches. That is lack of respect and O'Sullivan nearly landed with the right hand. A little short bravado by Hammock and come on. Another good combination, right to the jaw by Sean O'Sullivan. And coming up on 15 seconds remaining in the fifth round, it's scheduled for six. And Hammock getting in with an uppercut. So we'll be back with the sixth and final round in a moment. Back in round five, we saw Vince Hammock hit the canvas in a most unusual manner. Here's, here's a look at it. Here's a way not to score a knockdown because it doesn't count, folks, with your head and with your shoulder. <laughs> is round six. Marv Albert with the fight doctor, Freddy Pacheco from Toronto. Sean O'Sullivan in the white and Vince Hammock in the red. You know, there are many who would like to see a professional matchup someday down the road of O'Sullivan and Frank Tate, the man who beat O'Sullivan to win the gold in the Olympics, but O'Sullivan is fighting as a 147-pound welterweight, and Tate will be a 154-pound junior middleweight. I could see Sean O'Sullivan and Mark Breland somewhere down the road. That would certainly be an interesting confrontation, and if the current prop of junior middleweight uh, stays around by the time Sean gets enough uh, experience, it should be very interesting for Sean because there's some top, top guys playing uh, when he fights Breland and uh, that ilk, he certainly will have to learn a little bit about defense or else he's going to have to learn to eat leather because you just can't fight with a sharp, reflexive guy like Breland without eating a lot of leather unless you learn how to block and slip punch. He's straight up and down. He's not learned the first thing about bobbing and weaving. He's still fighting like an amateur. Of course, it's natural. And the crowd now reacting, urging O'Sullivan on. We've had one knockdown, official knockdown, in the bout. That was back in round four. Hammock went down in the fifth as he was body blocked and then hit the canvas. Well, the main thing is Sean O'Sullivan got his um, pro debut out of the way.